Well, as you know, I was appointed to the Office of Interim Chief Executive Officer here in DeKalb County uh, in July of 2013 by Governor Nathan Deal. Uh, at that time, I served as Commissioner for District 5 right here in this very community in which we stand. At that moment, we thought that either I would return to the commission seat or that a temporary replacement would be selected in short order, but we know that that has not been the case. Due to petty personal politics and clear obstruction, three commissioners have intentionally abused the process to prevent more than 140,000 citizens from having their constitutional right of representation. These commissioners have denied the opportunity to appoint well-qualified individuals to the District 5 seat and have sabotaged every effort to reach a consensus. They have chosen to avert the will of the people. Now this type of conduct is a clear example of why people are so cynical about our government. They have chosen through these actions to deny the rights of people in this part of the county their right to have a voting representative on the Board of Commissioners. But I am determined to do everything in my power to restore trust and integrity in our government. This sentiment has been and will remain my key objective in this role as interim CEO. So that is why here today I'm announcing that I've officially resigned my commission seat for District 5 effective May the 6th of 2015. This will allow for a special election to be held on June 16th, 2015, and a new representative will be allowed to represent the remainder of the term for Commission District 5. Now I want to apologize to the citizens of District 5 for the actions of those who have not lived in, in this section of the county, nor have ever represented you. The behavior that these people have displayed has divided this county and is contrary to the constitutional principles that our country was founded upon. Now let me close by saying this to the members of the Board of Commissioners. The time is now to put aside personal petty politics and we must come together for the sake of our great county. The interests of the people of the county must come first and we must come together in order to make that a reality. What we've seen over the past two years is troublesome to me, and it's troublesome to many of you. But we as a commission, we have to come together, understanding that the interests of the tax-paying citizens of DeKalb County must be the highest priority in which we serve. And so I'm here to help restore and rebuild the confidence, trust, and competence in our DeKalb County to restore this county to be such a great place for people to live, work, and to raise a family. So I want to thank you all for coming out here, and I'm going to answer just a few questions that you may have for me. Mr. May, why didn't you do this earlier? Why didn't I do this earlier? Uh, in July of, of 2013, when the uh, governor made uh, this appointment of me, um, the first question I asked his office, well, what about District 5? Uh, there was no law at that time that allowed for any kind of uh, temporary uh, seat holder to be put in place. So from June, July of 2013 until June of 2014, there was no process. The legislature ultimately um, crafted a bill, passed it, and the governor signed it in June of 2014. Uh, we put together the process based upon the state law and brought forward a uh, nominee in September of 2014. Uh, the Board of Commissioners, and not the ones that are sitting here, standing here with me today, uh, but three members of the board for eight months have not allowed for there to be a vote uh, on the Board of Commissioners. And just this very last commission meeting, the board withdrew all of the nominations that was before them. And, and the people that are standing behind, them, uh, behind me, a number of them came to the Board of Commissioners meeting asking the board not to make a selection. They wanted to see a vote. Uh, they also said they didn't want me to resign either. 
Uh, but you can't have both. You can't have me both in the seat as District 5 Commissioner still uh, and have an election. And so I decided to step aside to allow for there to be an elected member to the Board of Commissioners for the remainder of this term. I thought there were votes, but they just could not agree on the candidate. There were votes, though, for, for candidates. There were never four votes. There were never four votes. You have to have four votes in order to pass anything or there to be a 3-3 tie. Uh, those members that did not want to see a commissioner represented uh, decided to do things like abstain from the vote or walk away from the vote. Uh, and this process would allow for there to be an elected representative. What does this mean for your future in County? Well, this is a risk for me. Uh, if uh, CEO Burl Ellis uh, comes back to office, uh, he is innocent until proven guilty. Uh, his trial will be next month. If he comes back to office, uh, I won't have a commission seat to go back to. And so, yes, that's a political risk. But for me, uh, the interest of District 5 and, and frankly, for the uh, remainder of the county is a greater priority for me. You're in the judgment in the Merle Ellis case. Would you consider running for CEO? Well, I, I'm doing the job that the governor has appointed me to do now. That's my number one focus. Uh, I want to help restore the confidence. Uh, in our county government. That's my highest priority. Uh, political things we'll discuss at a, at a later moment. You're Eric. calling out the other three commissioners, but don't you think by engaging it this way that it's going to create more controversy on the board? Well, here's the thing. Uh, fingers have been pointed at me for a long time uh, by these same commissioners. And, and, and yes, I'm just making it plain what has led us up to this position. Um, they've called on my resignation since day one. Uh, and nothing in the law call for me or force me to resign. Uh, and, and, and their desire for me to resign has been for po personal political gain. Uh, I've been told that directly by one of those three commissioners that I've been talking about. And so uh, I'm just making it plain for the public to hear and to let them know what has led me up to this point of, of resigning from the seat. But even two weeks ago, you were saying you weren't going to resign the seat. So what, what was the tipping point? Well, these uh, ladies and gentlemen behind me in these <laughs> green shirts, if you read their shirts, it says District 5. It says D5 matters. And, and, and District 5 does matter. And many of them came up to the podium. And I've actually had various town hall meetings since then where people have really uh, stated their frustration and not having a voting representative on the board. And so hearing the dialogue that I've heard from them really called me uh, to the point to say that it's time for me to resign this seat and allow for there to be an elected position. Have Andrew. Been, have you still been receiving your D5 um, commission pay? I have not, no. Uh, it stopped immediately upon the appointment uh, uh, by the governor to the seat. A couple more questions. The question was put forth, if things progress in a certain way, would you be interested in running for the CEO seat? But you have mentioned, I believe, not in the recent past, but, but longer ago, that you weren't necessarily in favor of an elected CEO. I'm glad you brought that up, absolutely. Uh, as many people have, uh, have, have heard me speak, I am in favor in cha of changing our form of government here in DeKalb County. Out of 159 counties, we are the only form of government that has both a CEO and a board of commissioners, two branches of government to operate the day-to-day -day, uh, functions of the county. Uh, I believe for uniformity's sake, we ought to have one branch uh, with a full-time uh, county chairperson male or female, uh, with the Board of Commissioners. Now, that differs from other of my colleagues, but I've been on the record, and I will not stop that effort. Again, that's in the hands of the uh, General Assembly, our state representatives and senators, uh, to make that determination. But I remain consistent in wanting to change our form of government. Have you had and, discussions with the DeKalb delegation about how this all might play out for you? I have not, no. Uh, I've not talked about uh, my political future. Uh, I, they, they are well aware that uh, I desire to have a change in our form of government. But uh, I'm clear. I'm one person. Uh, that is the thoughts and opinions of Lee May and, and not of uh, many of my other colleagues. But I, I do stand uh, in support of that change. Mark. We've heard, we've heard from some uh, members of District 5 who have spoken at commission meetings about, well, we've got, waited this long. Why not wait until the end of the Ellis trial and see how things play out? Why, why, why not wait? That's a good question, Mark. So because of the uncertainty. I believe uh, uh, citizens of District 5 d deserve certainty. What we don't know is what the outcome of the CEO Ellis trial will be, number one. Uh, and, and we don't know all of the different phases that may take place in order to ultimately fill it. If, you know, again, if he comes back, 
you know, I believe that uh, uh, he ought to be in this seat, you know, and that the, there ought to be a full-time um, commissioner representing District 5. This gives certainty right now uh, for the taxpayers that live uh, in District 5, and I believe that this gives them certainty now. Uh, based upon the timing of the election, there's a possibility that uh, they would have a commissioner representing them for the, uh, a year and a half prior to the next uh, election, and I believe that's what's best for District 5 saying, and for the county. If I'm hearing you right, you're saying, you know, you're bad to his words here, but capitulating to the will of your constituents. Um, what's different in your head now than, say, a month ago? Well, what I didn't hear a month ago was our constituents calling for an election or even calling for me possibly to step aside. What you heard was those political detractors that were wanting me to step aside. Uh, I've heard from many uh, citizens who said, Lee, no, we don't want you to resign, but we also want to have a voting representative on the board. And it's, we're at a position that I believe that we are all out of options. Again, on Tuesday when the board withdrew all the names uh, for those uh, residents, uh, for those nominees, uh, that was a clear sign that we didn't have a, 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 a path to having a voting representative on the board. Thank so this sends us along that path. Thank you all very much.